NFL Week 8 Top 5 Bottom 5 Rankings Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi The South's premier sports gambling destination Halloween edition Let's uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into it uh, Tunica, Mississippi Go check out their six sports books Over at tunicatravel.com Let's do this thing We're doing uh, 32 through 28 32 through 28 Top 5 Bottom 5 for the NFL all right, so let's uh, let's jump in. Number thirty-two, I have changed a few things. Okay, I've changed a few things. Number thirty-two for me is now the Buffalo Bills. Oh. I dropped them all the way back down. You, 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 you're you, still not getting it. You watch that game. You're still the, not getting it. How am I not getting it? You're still not getting it. I understand the Raiders. I I get that. You just you just you you don't. Apparently, you don't. Well, how about I'm, you explain it to me? Then? I'm working as hard as I can work to make you understand the Raiders are a complete and utter chaos of a football team. Tire fire. They're not good at any aspect of the game. They're not good coaching. They're letting go any player that has any chance of being good in the future. They're just, they're just not. They're, it's just chaos I all got, around. I got the Raiders at 31. I almost didn't have the Bills in here. Strictly because, and, and, and so I'm spoiler alert, they're by 28. And the reason they're at 28 is because that defense just held an offense to almost, they just held Tom Brady and an offense has been scoring 38 points a game for the last four weeks to almost nothing. They kept them out of the end zone until the end of the you mean, game. You mean an offense that didn't have a running back? They still had running backs. Cordero Patterson ran the ball 10 That's times. Just, they just chose not to run White through the tackles, but White is an accomplished I running back. I understand that, but uh, but once Sony Michelle went out, I feel like this offense changed and they had to find no. some way. Th- th- this offense changes every week because that's what – Not to mention, what, I think the Bills – That's like, what the they do. game at home, Monday uh, yeah. Night Football. You're right, but that defense but, showed up. You can't knock the Bills for that defensive ability. I, I can knock the Bills for only scoring six points. Well, yeah, but that's look, man. And we can say it was against the Patriots, but they do this all the time. But offensively, they're not good. I have no expectations of them offensively. I, I will tell you that defense showed up. My thirty-two is gonna be Oakland, and it is not changing. Who's uh Who's your thirty-one? I just told you the Raiders are, are 31. thirty-one. I got the Giants. They are throwing in the towel. They yeah. are playing for the next season. You keep talking. Eli looks really bad right now, and they don't even have a backup option for him. Like, like they they don't. There's nobody on the roster that you can say, "Hey, let's try this guy." Yeah, no, I think right. I think they are. And and well, if and they, it they wasn't for like... the Raiders' complete incompetency from the front office and the head coaching situation, they would probably be my thirty-two. If um. They were so high on on Davis Webb early on. I, I don't know and he who, ain't it. But I don't know who was high on him. That whoever was there before this uh, the new guy. Who's yeah, the new guy? I don't know. Uh, either way, uh, I've got the 49ers at number thirty. So I've got the 49ers at thirty as well. So we 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 see the world okay. similar on that. I think we can move on. What do you I got? got the, at I got 28? the Giants at, at twenty twenty nine. I've got the Giants. So okay. for all the reasons that you said, I still think there's some fight left in this team. They've had a really difficult schedule. Like, the teams that they have gone up against are all really good. Not Okay, not really good. Let's let's preface that with they're all good teams. Okay. You know, like the Redskins were not supposed to be a 7 or a 6 and 2 football team. They just have no heart. They have no fight. They can't score, they can't stop anybody. They just look like they don't know what they're doing out there. And their late game situations are awful. Oh yeah, they no, just, they, they, they like, yeah. There's a lot of bad things, but they they do like they keep games competitive. I mean, they've been covering spreads. They've been they've been within just a touch of actually winning some of these games. So I think that the Giants, like I think the Giants could beat the 49ers. I think they could beat the Raiders. I think they could beat the Bills. You know, and I could be completely wrong on that, but that is you know that's why we've got our own separate uh, top five and bottom fives. Who uh, who you got twenty eight? 29. 29. Oh, yeah. 29. So, my 29, new person to the party, very well-deserving person to the party, my Cleveland Browns. Browns are 28 on mine. Yeah, I did no, finally put no. them in the bottom five. Uh, so, you put them all the way down to 29. This Browns team going forward for the rest of the season, absolutely. 
I think yeah. I think the Bills defense would stymie this team to a point to where they can kick field goals. Browns can't kick field goals. They, That's they, true. They, they they can they can beat them. Yeah, they, they beat them. Bills are my twenty eight, and and I almost didn't have them there. I'm telling you, the Cardinals are out of this thing. That team is not a good team at all. Josh Rosen's a good football player. Yeah, he is. He's going to be really good. They have no talent there at all, Harley. They have no offensive and, line. And he is oh, still God, making plays. Is I don't know that I trust any aspect of their coaching or anything like that, but he is finding ways to make plays. Every week we have the same top four. I did change my number three and number four, though. Oh, my gosh. I moved the Saints up to three. I moved the Patriots back to four. Okay. The Saints going on the road and winning at the Ravens and at Minnesota, like it, that that showed me something. I don't know that winning at the Ravens shows you anything. That team is beat up on bad teams. No, I agree. I agree. So I don't know how good that win is. Winning at Minnesota's fine. Minnesota's done this a lot, and nothing about that game was exciting. So I don't know that I'm I, – look, their defense played well. They're still in my top four. The Patriots have a win over the Chiefs. That – that win doesn't go away, and the Saints have nothing like that on their red schedule. This week, this week they got an opportunity for that. Yes. But right now, right now they're four. They win Sunday, they move up this ladder a lot. Yeah. I, I'm, I may, so if I, they win Sunday, I may have them number one next week. No, no, I don't know that there's an argument to not not do it. So, the, we both uh, the have Patriots, new fives. The Patriots have two losses that the Saints don't have. Now, the Saints lost to Tampa Bay, and it was – weird That's it's right. still weird to look at that game and figure it like what in the hell just happened um but the Patriots do have the loss to the Lions and the loss to uh that's fine uh who's the other loss to the, the Jaguars thank you thank you who so. immediately went in the tank yeah. afterwards I mean that was that was their Super Bowl yeah so uh who do you have at number five I, I had my charges there at first and then I realized man they're on a bye week I, I think this Panthers team is real <laughs> good <laughs> And I like Carolina a lot. And Cam Newton, I don't know if people are watching, Cam Newton could be the MVP. Now, he's not putting Patrick Mahomes' numbers up, but he don't have the help Patrick's got. They, they, who is it, Norv Turner? Yes. Is there, they look a lot Nor better with Norv Turner than Mike Shula. Norv Turner, this is the perfect job for him, and Cam might be the perfect quarterback for him. I have the Panthers at number five. Dude, you really? Yeah. Okay. We, I, I just thought to you, preface this in case you don't watch this all the time, uh, we do not talk about this before we come in to do the show. We each have our own set of rankings. That's right. Um, I, but yeah. I knew you were going to have a new one. There was a part of me that thought you were going to have Washington here because I didn't think you were – I just knew you're not a big Cam guy. I need – well, no, the Panthers beat the Ravens last week, so that's oh, – they beat, they beat them pretty good, They too. beat them, yeah. Like, there were really no good. close games except for the Bengals-Tampa Bay game, and that's only because Fitzmagic came out and slain that thing. Yeah. Um Washington was close. Like honestly, number six for me was the Chargers. I would, yeah, I I would have had the and Chargers seven before was Washington, Washington, and then I would have Washington next. Um, I think so too. Like I, Washington didn't look great against the Giants. I know I don't the Bears have, have three losses. I'd, I'd have the Bears in there too, but I yeah. like I like I mean, the Bears. The Bears. Are up there. Anyway, um, that's but that's it. yeah, top five, bottom five. Boom. Bam. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs>